Extreme Foolishness TV here. This is where I talk about extreme foolishness that goes on around you. I will be reacting to the new story that's been hot on the streets. This is the leaked draft, uh, a first draft of the Supreme Court of the United States, supposedly overturning Roe versus Wade. The United States Supreme Court had a first draft that was leaked by Politico. And in that draft opinion, Roe versus Wade will be overturned. So they now have the votes. A lot of this radical judges who have somehow lied their way to the bench of the United States Supreme Court have decided to overturn Roe versus Wade. Well, I will be doing a lot of videos about this topic. It's too many videos. I, I, there's so much stuff I want to talk about. But I'm going to be doing it in piecemeal because if my videos are too long, people don't want to click on my videos. The first thing I'll be talking about is that once, if, if Roe versus Wade were overturned, which I think it will be, a lot of states or at least 26 states are on re they are on standby to ban abortion. The focus on, of this video is child support. Those 26 states that are ready to ban abortion, as an attorney, I would argue, have no right to pass any law forcing a man to pay child support. A man who does not want to have the baby. Think about it. The Supreme Court of the United States says the right of privacy does not extend to a woman's right to make the choice not to carry the baby to term. That the right of privacy doesn't extend to that. In other words, they're saying the states can decide whether or not to ban abortion. So if you're one of those states, how can you now say a man and a woman who have decided not to have their baby, you are forcing them to have the baby because they cannot have abortion within your borders. Why should you not force that man to pay child support? If you have a single woman out there, maybe cannot financially provide for the baby. Why should you now force that man will father the baby to pay child support if the man and the woman say, hey, we didn't want to have this baby. But we're forced because you ban abortion. It's going to be crazy out of there. Folks who are supporting this foolishness haven't seen anything yet. Bro, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. It's going to be crazy. And a lot of the states are so-called evangelicals. So if you guys are the evangelical states, the Christian states, should do the right thing and take care of these kids. So women who have babies and they can't get child support, who did not want to keep the baby, and the guy did not want the baby, they should go apply for child support from the state. And the state should do the Christian thing and take care of these babies because you told them they had to keep these babies. They had to keep it. Better, nobody from any of those states should ever say, somebody's asking for a handout. You have no right to say that because you're telling them they can't abort the baby. They got to keep the baby. They don't have the right to make their choice of their own. So they have a right to ask you to take care. The state should not be the daddy. Step in and pay child support. Men in those states, after those laws are passed, if you're being forced to pay child support and you did not want to keep that child, you should challenge those child support laws. I think you have standing to do so. And you could probably make an argument of coercion on the state. I think it would be a wonderful argument. And let that case go all the way to the United States Supreme Court. Obviously, it's going to pass to the state courts. Let it go to the United States Supreme Court. And let them make another ruling saying, we forced you to keep the baby. And we're also going to force you to pay child support. And let the foolishness keep going. That is part one 
on this Roe versus Wade series, I got a lot to break down. I'll be breaking down some more legal stuff. So subscribe, hit the bell. Appreciate you guys for watching. Stay safe out there, my lovely people. And most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.